reached out for my dreams. I reached out for my vision. I reached out for help that I thought I needed. Cause reaching out, reaching out is the proof of passion. Hello again, our most valued student. My name is Confident. Today we are going to look at factorizing a quadratic trinomial. Now when it comes to factorizing a quadratic trinomial, I have got one method that I usually use that is more reliable. It is called the product sum method. So it is the product sum method, which I'm going to show you. Now the, the, the word product means at times and sum means a positive sign. So when I'm talking about the product sum method, how does it go about? In the product sum method, in here, if I can look at the variables, we have got a 1. If it's not given, it means it's 1x squared plus 6x plus 8. So in this case, you have got there is a 1 before the x squared. So there is always a 1. So which means the the, the, the coefficient of x squared is a 1 and the coefficient of x is a 6 which is positive and the other one is just an 8 there is no coefficient so when they say a coefficient is the number before that variable so now in this case what we are saying is whenever you're using the product sum method you are going to take this number and you're going to take that number the two you're going to multiply them so that is where you get your product and then the center one is your sum so when we say product sum method we are saying in this case the product if you can look at the product it's 1x squared times 8 which is 8x squared and the sign you can see that is positive and the sum which is the the, the 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 positive one it is the number in the center which is positive 6x so don't forget when i say it the product i'm meaning the multiplication and the sum i mean the plus so now when you you have done that what you need now is you are looking for two numbers we call them the factors. You are looking for two numbers. When you multiply them, you must get a positive 8x squared. When you add them, you must get a positive 6x. So now the main part to focus on is to look at the factors of 8. So now, what are the factors of 8? In other ways, how many ways can you get 8? Is 1 times 8. It is a 2 times 4 and a 4 times 2. So now you can see that the last one is just a 2 times 4. It is repeating, so you can take this off. So there are two ways of getting an 8. It's either it is a 1 times 8 or a four times a 2 times 4. So now from these two, we know that it's a product of 8. If we multiply this number, we'll get 8. Now the next thing is we need the... The, from these two numbers, we want to add them. When we add them, we must get a positive 6. So remember here, you are multiplying to get an 8. Now we want to add them. So if I say 1, let me use a different pen. If I say a 1 plus 8 and a 2 plus 4, remember this is the product because at times this is the sum because it's an addition. So 1 plus 8, I'm getting different ways here. I can get a 9, but a 2 plus 4, I'm getting a 6, which is similar to the one that I'm looking for there. So which means the answer or the two numbers that I'm looking for, these are the two numbers. When I multiply them, I get an 8, and when I add them, I get a 6. So how do I go about it now? I'm going to take the two numbers. Remember, I'm given x squared 
plus 6x plus 8. Then I've got now x squared. In these two numbers that we are given, it means these two numbers, 24, we have got now 2x and 4x. So you are adding 2x and 4x. So in this case, I'm going to have x squared instead of 6. Now I'm going to have my 2x plus 4x. Now plus 8. Don't forget that this particular 2x plus 4x is the same as the 6 that I was having. So when I've done that, I'm going to take the first two. So I'm going to have my first two. Factorizing the first two, I've got x. Now x into x squared, I've got x plus x into 2x, I've got a 2. Now I'm looking also at the last two. So in other ways, I was having kind of two brackets like that. So let me look at the last two. What is common between 4x and 8? I have got a 2, so it's a positive 2. 2 into 4x is not a 2. Actually, the highest common factor is not a 2 in this case. The highest common factor is a 4. As you can see, 4 can get into 8, so I must take a 4. Why? Because the next bracket must also match x plus 2. So 4 into 4x is x plus 4 into 8 is a 2. So these two brackets must always match. It will be x plus 2, x plus 2. So if they are matching, it means you are in the right direction. So if we move on, now you are having inside the bracket x plus 2. And outside the black bracket, you have got x plus a 4. So now we have factorized what we call by using the product sum method. To prove that your answer is correct, you can actually expand this whereby the x will multiply that to get your x squared and the x will multiply the 4 to get a 4x and the 2 will multiply the x to get a 2x all are positive in this case and the 2 will multiply the 4 to get an 8 now you can see that the 4x plus 2x still gives you x squared plus 6x in this case 8x squared plus 6x plus an 8 so you can see that this is the same one that we started with and it is using the concept of the product and the sum now let us look at the last one for today that uses also the concept of the product and the sum now, I'm just going to be a bit faster. Since you saw how we did in the first part, remember we said there is a 1 here. So we are going to take this number, the whole of that number. We are going to multiply it with that. So it's my product and the center one is our sum. So what is the product? In this case, my product is 1x squared times 10 it is a positive 10x squared and my sum it is a negative 7x so now then I go to the factors remember my factors I must focus on the factors of 10 how many ways can I get 10 remember it's positive 10 10 is 1 times 10 it is 2 times 5. Now from these, I will always get a positive 10. Now the next tricky part is from these two numbers, I must get a negative 7. So now if I bring my calculator. <laughs> so this is my calculator. I need to get a 7, a negative 7 from these two numbers. So I can start by, if I can have... The first one, if I can, to try to get a 7, maybe I can say negative 7, 1 minus 10. Now, 1 minus 10 is equal to a negative 9. So, this won't even give me um, a negative 7. But if I can try with my calculator, 
between 2 and 5. If I say 2 plus 5, I get a positive 7, but I want to get a negative 7. If I say negative 2 minus 5, I get a negative 7. It means the 2 must be negative and the 5 must be negative. So in this case, my numbers are negative 2 and negative 5. So those are the two numbers. So in this case, I've got negative 2x and negative 5x. So when I write now my expression, I will have x squared minus 7x plus 10 which is equal to x squared, where there is 7x, now I put minus 2x, minus 5x plus 10, which is, now if I consider the first two, I will have x being common, which is x minus 2, and I consider the last two, I have got now a positive 5, let me take a positive 5 in the first case, so I'll have minus x plus 2. Now you can see that the signs, as we did in the previous lessons, here you have got x minus 2, but in the second one you've got minus x minus 2. So it means you must take out a negative in the second part. So you take out a negative 5. When you take out a negative, what was negative becomes positive, and what was positive becomes negative. Now what is happening is, we have got now x minus 2, x minus 2. Remember the aim is to match the bracket, which is now x minus 2 and x minus a 5. So what you have done is you have managed to factorize using the product sum method. Now you can go on again to prove that your answer is correct by expanding. You multiply x by that, but this you are doing it just for the sake of proof. You are not supposed to do it in your working. You just do it in a rough piece of paper. If you multiply that, you find out that it gives you back to that particular prob uh, prob question that you started with. Now we have come to the end of our lesson. Join us again in the next lesson. Thank you. I reach out for my dreams. I reach out for my vision. I reach out for help that I thought I needed. Cause reaching out, reaching out is the proof of